All right. Um, thank you for, uh, for inviting me and giving this opportunity to present our talk. So, uh, you know, OCTA, well, uh, a lot has been spoken about today. Uh, but I'm just going to give a brief overview and then quickly move on to the study uh, that we did. So what we basically use is a local fractal anal analytics to understand the vascular density, the spacing between the vessels in these images. And uh, since then, we have utilized this technique in several, uh, uh, norm in several uh, pathologies as well as in normalized. So here is an example in, in uh, normalized where you can see that uh, we have mapped the vascular densities in different zones of the retina. Um, uh, later on, we have also looked at patients who had uh, di diabetic, uh, um, uh, retino uh, were diab uh, diabetic retinopathy, and in these eyes as well, by, used, by utilizing, this, utilizing this technique, we can accurately quantify uh, what is the vascular density, what is the spacing between the vessels, and it can be converted into a color-coded map to quantify these features very sp specifically. So this is a case, a case example of different, uh, uh, different uh, eyes with uh, different grades of uh, diabetic retinopathy. Since then, um, uh, we have also looked at the ROC, that is the diagnostic criteria, and the method works quite well, where we got very high ROCs in distinguishing diabetic rise, DRIs from normalized. Um, we have also adapted the local uh, fractal analytic technique to quantify regions of geography atrophy. And here is an uh, example here, where you can see that uh, this is the superficial layer, and it was graded by two independent uh, observers, and at the same time use the local fractal method, which is fully automated, and we can actually quantify uh, the area of these uh, atrophic regions. And when we compared the, uh, the, uh, the software, uh, the method uh, predicted uh, area of uh, geography atrophy with the uh, local fractal analytic method, we could get a very high amount of uh, concordance. So you can see that the intraclass correlation coefficient was almost 0.96. So, uh, uh, this is in CNV. Uh, we have also adapted this technique in glaucoma and using the available uh, diagnostic methods with the glaucoma where, where you have visual fields, you have RNFL thickness, we have come out with a combinational technique where uh, uh, using the vascular parameters and the glaucoma features, we are able to come up with this very interesting nomogram where you can see that uh, you know, in case of glaucoma, we are very we are, we are much better capable with uh, OCT and geography to detect preperimetric glaucoma, which is PPG there, as compared to visual fields, because visual fields, visual fields by definition does not give any grading to preperimetric glaucoma. That is the only suspect glaucoma cases. So now we use this technique now to uh, to compare the th three machines: the swept source, uh, which is Triton view uh, and then Angioplex. They're all different, uh, so uh, with different features, and this is a result of how the vascular density looks uh, using these three machines. And when you actually quantify the vascular parameters, you see very distinct uh, differences between the three machines uh, in terms of uh, what is the vessel density, how much is the spacing between the vessels, and, and this can be quantified in percentages as well as areas. Uh, a lot of discussion goes towards how well you segment the vessels, and we thought that, okay, why not apply one of the most commonly used vessel uh, enhancement techniques, which is the Frangie filter. And using this, you can see that these are the different machines, how the vessel segmentation improves by filtering, uh, removing some of the noise in these images. So, and this is from uh, these ice machines. So, um, once we do the Frangie filter, we do see a difference in the vessel density parameters, because now, Using the uh, the uh, the defiltering technique, which is the Frangie filter, you're able to get segment the vessels out much better. And the real comparison would be FA versus uh, fluorescein angiography with versus the swept source OCT. And so on the right we have the fluorescein angiography, whereas on the left we have the uh, swept source uh, angio OCT image. And when you actually look at the vascular parameters here with the Frangie filter, so the second column is the uh, vessel density. You see that. It's almost 29%, whereas fluorescein angiography gave around 25%. But even then, we saw uh, some marked differences in the way the, s the vessels were spaced out in the, in the retina. So there are obviously limitations, and I think a lot of has been talked about, about uh, these uh, artifacts, and that's an ongoing process for us also to, uh, to understand on how to get rid of these artifacts. Uh, we have now converted this into a tool which can be readily used for a lot of uh, these images across all machines. And uh, uh, you know, the tool will give you readouts of the density as, as well as the vessel spacings. 
So this is some of the ongoing work. We are looking at obviously improving the vessel density parameters, how it can give you more information, and hopefully this will give us early detection of several diseases. Thank you.